hey guys if you've ever wanted to save some money and turn your ipad into a teleprompter this is the video for you and i've got a bonus for you at the end of this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so ring the bell turn on all bell notifications and let's check out how to turn your ipad into a teleprompter okay so this is my ipad right here and i'm going to use a program called teleprompter now here is the actual program right here I want you to be able to see that icon when you're looking for it in the app store there you go now i've got a script that's already pulled up here let me go back to my scripts this is where all the scripts lie in here and as you can see i got quite a few of them in here um, go over to this part right here and you're going to click on this plus and that's where you're going to add a script now you can do a couple things here you can actually type in your script or you can upload your script whatever you want to do uh, and I apologize, I've got a couple of lights overhead here that uh, can be seen. Um, so if I want to import a document, I would just hit right here, import document. And then I have all my different documents right in here. Uh, and these are some of the other things I've had in here that I've uploaded. Uh, if I don't want to do that, I can always go over here and hit plus and I can compose a new script. It's going to ask me for the name here and I'll just put new right there, create script. And then all I have to do is type my script in here. Now I'm not going to type it in there for the sake of this video. However, that's what I would do. And you have a full keyboard right here that you can type everything in. Uh, and I'm going to click done. I like to import or copy and paste, uh, because I don't like typing on this keyboard here. And you know, it's up to you what you want to do. Now, once you've done that, you can actually start your script right here and it will start moving. Now, since I don't have a full script in here, let me pull one up. Um, I'll pull up the script right here. Uh, and then here's this particular script and I hit start and it's going to start scrolling it and you can see it scrolling. Now, is it too fast? Is it too slow? I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to read it and then decide what I want to do with it. Now, when I hit start, I can increase the speed of it by sliding this over a little bit. Let me get that. And then I hit start and it's going to go a little bit faster as you can see. Now, if I want to pause it, I can hit pause. If I want to scroll back down, let's say I went too far. I made a mistake. I want to go back. I can do that. I can scroll up and down on here. It's very useful. I really like this app. Now having a teleprompter, the whole point of this is so that you can look directly at the script, read it word for word and not screw up. Now, the best way to do that is with an actual teleprompter. Now this is the software that I use on my iPad but this is not the actual teleprompter. Let's check out the actual teleprompter. So this is the actual teleprompter. And as you can see, uh, and I'll put a link in the description where you can get this, but basically this is a frame that's set at an angle here. And what happens is I put the actual teleprompter script inside of my teleprompter holder like this and it comes up on the screen. Now this is going to appear backwards because I'm filming it with my iPhone, but you can kind of see how it works. Then when I hit start, the words are going to just go by and I can start reading my script. I know it appears backwards in this video. So I'm going to stop there. Now the back part of the teleprompter looks like this. And this is the cover because what happens is my camera is going to get attached right here and it's going to be facing in that direction. And that's the actual camera right there that I use that I put in the teleprompter that goes right here. Once the camera's put in here, I cover this up, block out all the light, and I can turn this around. And then essentially what I'm doing, even though I'm seeing those words right there, um, I'm actually looking into the camera. So you, it allows you to look directly into the camera. And that way you get that really clean kind of look where you're looking into the camera and everything's working out well, and uh, you don't have any problems. Now this teleprompter also can be used on an iPhone it can be used on an ipad you can use this on your laptop anything you want i like this setup here because i can attach this to my uh, actual camera uh, and in doing so it makes it really really easy to use now there's a lot of different teleprompters out there you can get uh, you can spend you know this one here is i think a hundred and some odd dollars not that expensive uh, but you can spend into the multiple thousands of dollars depending on what you're getting i don't recommend that i don't think it's really necessary okay i'm over at amazon right now and i searched teleprompters and i searched from high to low 
Uh, so if you want to snap up one of these teleprompters here for only $5,840 plus shipping, because they couldn't even throw that in, uh, you're welcome to do so. Here's another one for $5,500, $5,200, $5,100. Craziness. If you want to spend thousands of dollars with the eye tracking and all that, they have these kinds more on a stand uh, if you're into all that stuff. Uh, here's an interview one right here. So if you're doing an interview with somebody, you have that. Uh, but what I would recommend is using the one that I gave you a link for. I think it's all that you need. Uh, and then they've got a, I like the sponsored one down here, 69 bucks. But if you sort these by priced low to high, uh, I've got some, I love my dad's shirts. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's scroll through here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got them for, you know, here's one for $199, $69. I think I paid a little over 100 bucks for mine. When you click that link, you can find out what it is, but they're kind of nice to have if you're going to do a video and you really don't want to mess up any words whatsoever. Now, this one here looks kind of cool because it's got an iPhone attachment on it. Uh, you could actually use your iPhone on it. Uh, but they are kind of cool. Uh, it's not something if you're just starting out that you even need because if you make a little mistake here and there, you can always just edit it out and do it that way. But if you if you want to get one, that's how you use it. And let's get on with this tutorial. I know there's some really super expensive ones, but basically, you know, if you get the speed right, you really don't need the eye tracking thing that, you know, will move it as you read. Uh, I know a lot of politicians use those. We always see them reading from a teleprompter, but I don't think you need that really for videos. I think it's a waste of time. I think it's a waste of money. Uh, I wouldn't spend the money on it. I will tell you, make sure when you set up your teleprompter to have the teleprompter, the right distance from you. Now my camera set up here is about, I'd say about six or seven feet away. So six or seven feet, I can certainly read the words. The other upside to having a teleprompter though, is even if you need to read it from further away, you can make the font on the teleprompter much larger. So if you're having a hard time reading it, you can do that. Uh, then of course you would just speed up the uh, font since you made it bigger and it would just go by a little bit faster and be easier to read. Take some time and actually practice this uh, before you actually start using it. it it takes a little bit of coordination for you to read it what i like to do is do maybe a paragraph of two or three sentences and then a space and a paragraph of two or three sentences and then a space and when i do it that way it gives me a little breathing room so i'm not constantly reading through and it sounds a little bit more natural most people do take a little break when they're talking they take uh, you know a breath or two they don't just constantly talk and read something just like this so you don't want to do it that way you want to make it as natural as possible the whole idea behind a teleprompter is to prevent you from making mistakes. However, when you're doing it, you still may make some mistakes. I would also recommend that you go through the script two or three times. The more times you read it, the more comfortable you're going to feel, the more comfortable you feel, the, the better it's just going to come out. So it's really simple. Now, this is not for uh, a beginner with my setup with this big teleprompter and the camera going on it and all that. You can also use this teleprompter on your iPhone and actually read the words on the screen of your iPhone and just put your phone on a stand. Um, that's certainly something you can do. Keep in mind, if you're putting the words on your screen of your phone and you're looking at the screen, you're using your front facing camera, not your back facing camera. The front facing camera is not of the same quality as a back facing camera. So you're going to lose a little bit of quality by doing that. But certainly if you want to do it inexpensively, that's one way you can do it is just have uh, your iPhone, you have your you know, smartphone, have it on a tripod of some sort and just use it there. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it helps you out in using a teleprompter. I mean, some of us use them. I don't use it that often. I usually use it if I'm doing like a VSL type thing for a web page. Obviously these videos I do on YouTube, I don't use a teleprompter. I speak more from bullet points on something like that. Maybe I'll have some bullet points on my computer off to the side here. Check the link below and you can actually find that teleprompter. Uh, there's other ones online so if you just want to click my teleprompter there and take a look at it scroll down to the bottom of that particular product and you'll see other suggested teleprompters and that way it allows you to explore some other opportunities different ones you may want to buy maybe more bells and whistles on it uh, the one I have is fine for me I've had that one for gosh five years six years something like that and it's worked just fine for me it's low-tech you know basically it takes an iPad and it takes a camera and that's it 
uh, but like I said if you just want to use your phone you can certainly do that and just use the teleprompter software that I showed you in the beginning thank you so much for watching this video uh, feel free to subscribe I want you to subscribe that's how you're really gonna be a real hero is hit that subscribe button down there don't forget also to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every single time I do a new video and give me a thumbs up if you would give me a thumbs up let me know what you thought of this video put in the comments below are you using a teleprompter have you used one before do you understand the mechanics of it now after watching this video let me hear from you in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel